At times, I-90 slowed to a crawl. The snow made it hard to see just a few feet ahead. Some drivers pulled off at rest stops rather than try to fight their way through. And once I got on the other side of Cleveland, it was just terrible. I mean, driving 15 miles an hour with my flashers on, I've, I've lived in Erie my whole life and I've never driven in this. The snow just kept coming, blanketing sections of Erie between I-90 and Lake Erie. Driving was especially slow going because the brisk wind kept undoing what the plows had just done. As the snow closed in on Erie, several stores closed their doors early, sending employees home. But many shoppers braved the nasty weather. Had to get some stuff done so I could bunker down the rest of the week. <laughs> this is going to be so cold. Fawn Jackson lives about 30 miles away and only comes into Erie every couple of weeks to shop. It was time to come in and get groceries. So here I am. Snow covered cars faster than drivers could scrape them off. It's the worst I've seen it in a couple of years, actually. I think it's probably the worst storm we've gotten this winter and last winter. How are you doing? I'm trying to get to my car. For Jason Nulf, it was even more of a shock. I've moved here from Phoenix, so this is uh, this is the first uh, big wallop I think that we've really had. A winter blast that has slowed everything down for the time being. In Erie, Pennsylvania, for the Weather Channel, I'm Scott Newell.